Hey everybody, uh, this is Mr. Hartzler here. I'm going to show you how to do a little bit of uh, maybe more complicated equations in Google Sheets here. So I have a bunch of information. I have a baseline score for my students and a final score, and I even have their growth over here, and we're going to get to those. But let's start off by showing maybe how to tell them what their letter grade is, just based off of this, and have the spreadsheet do it for us. The goal is always to do less work, but not be less effective or give less information than what we want. So under letter grade, I have equals, and I'm going to do IFS. In Google Sheets, they're really intuitive. They really want you to learn. So below that, I'm not sure if it's going to show up on your screen or not, but IFS, and it shows below it a little definition. It says returns a value depending on multiple logical expressions. So I'm going to give it some expressions here. I'm going to start with parentheses, and then it even gives me a little table. This is how you fill it out. And my first thing I need to type in is my condition. So I'm going to say, well, if F five or the cell to my left and you can see it turns a little bit orange if that is greater than 0 0.90 because everything's in percentages as decimals for me if it is greater than 0 0.9 comma now I have to say what happens if that is true and I do it in quotes well I'm gonna have the student get an A so I have if F5 is greater than 0 0.9 it spits out an A then I'm going to do a comma, and I'm going to keep doing this. So if F5 is greater than 0.8, what's going to happen? Well, it's going to give them a B, and so on and so forth, all the way down to, let's see how far we get here. 0.7, I want it to spit out a C. If F5 is greater than 0.6, oh, I forgot to end my little quotes there. If F5 is greater than 0.6, greater than 0.6, there we go, finally. Then I want it to spit out a C, sorry, a D. And let's even do F here, so if F5 is less than 0.6, then I want it to spit out a D. All right, then I have to end my parentheses, enter, and now it spits out, oh, right there, a C. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit, so you can see this a little bit better. It spits out a C, and I need to go over one because you have to see other parts here. All right, so these are the two cells we're looking at right now. I have percentages, and then I have my letter grade. If I want to make an edit to that, maybe there was something wrong in my code or in my uh, string there, I can either go up to the top in the formula bar, and you'll see that this becomes the formula down here too, or I can double click in that cell. If I single click, it'll erase everything. If I double click, it'll let me make changes. And if I want to copy that all the way down, so maybe I love what I wrote there, it works really well, it does what I want it to. If I click in that cell and move my cursor to the bottom right corner of that box, I can click and hold and drag down, and it copies that format down to the cells below it. And if I want to do keyboard shortcuts, because the more often my hands are off of the keyboard, the less effective I am, I'm going to highlight as I go down. This is the cell I want to start with, this is G5. I'm going to hold the shift button and use my arrow keys and go down. And then I hold control and press D as in dog. And all of a sudden it copies that all the way down. And that's really nice. That comes in really handy with a lot of different things. In one of those cases where it comes in handy is right over here. I had to give myself a grade based on how well my students did. And my format's a little bit off on a couple of letters. That's 11 point font, and that's 10. That's why it's a different color. Sorry, bugging me a little bit. Got to fix that font. All right. But right here, a number that exceed, exceeded or met my goal, that ended up being 18. My total number of students uh, out of the whole class was 27. And then I have to find, well, the percentage that exceeded or met my goal. And that's just dividing those two numbers, and you get point zero, or sorry, 0 0.67. Off to the right, descriptive rating. This now spits out, because I wrote a big string in here, based on whatever this is in I-14. The percentage of students that exceeded or met my goal, well, it's going to generate an answer in response to that number. If that number, in this case, it's 0.67, is greater than 0.6, it spits out an approaching average. So it's kind of unfortunate. I'm a little bit below average, but that's fine. It comes out as approaching average, but if I were to be up in, say, a 0.7 range, greater than 0.7, it comes up as average. 
So it starts reading these, and it'll start at the beginning and go down towards the end. Well, was I14 greater than 90%? No. So I kicked down and went to 0.8. Well, is the cell greater than 0.8? No. So it kicks down and kicks down until, oh, yes, this statement is true. So now I'm going to spit out this value. Okay, just like if you ever do any computer coding, very similar. And then I did the same thing for my numerical rating. If that cell is greater than 0.9, I get a 5, and so on and so forth as you go down. And that can come in really handy as you go through and try and make spreadsheets like this. So that is a little bit of using an if statement in a spreadsheet. And Google, if you play around with Google, they do a great job of making everything easy. All of it, hopefully you can see all this is color-coded even. The yellows are all from column F. If I were to do a different column, uh, say like D6, or well, in this case, D67, but it comes up purple. It shows me a different column as a different color. It's very helpful. Google does a great job of trying to teach people as you're going and as you're going through something and learning. They do a great job of that. So that's just one way of kind of sorting some stuff out, making your life a little bit easier using spreadsheets. I'll do another video about how to do maybe this color coding. I did a conditional color based on what their growth was. But this video is all about how to set up some equations that are a little more complicated using some if statements in sheets. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope this was helpful. Uh, please like the video and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of this. Have a great day.